when we talk about the lithosphere we have to know about the landforms how they are formed generally they are formed by the two processes the endogenous process and exogenous process endogenous process it is the internal process by the faults holes and the fur by the volcanic activities it was done today we are going to discuss about the exogenous it is the external process in this weathering erosion deposition are the three stages are there you know the first order landforms these are oceans and continents and second order landforms these landforms like mountains plains and plateaus external forces like water and air are working and they wear away the surface of the rocks and mountains then they transport the worn out particles and deposit them in low lands and basins this shaping of the landforms by wind and water is called third order landforms example carved mountains valleys deltas sand dunes etc are the best examples of third order landforms for the formation of third order landforms we have the processes like weathering erosion transportation and deposition all together it is called as denudation process it is a continuous and very slow process by this process the landforms like mountains plateaus and plains keep on changing the changing process is known as erosion cycle or geomorphic cycle the lowlands what we see today actually once they were mountains and plateau they keep on changing how air and water transform the surface of the earth actually the hard primary rocks are broken into pieces these pieces are carried to the lower places and they will be deposited in the lower areas weathering it breaks down the rocks when a rock is exposed to heat expand and contract when they cool down so this is the continuous process it expands and contracts again and again for days and years and throughout all the seasons gradually the rock becomes brittle and begins to break down this is physical or mechanical weathering chemical weathering in this process water reacts with the chemicals of the rocks and further weakens the track finally weathering is a process by which rocks are weakened and broken weathering breaks down the rock then erosion moves this rock or pieces away the cutting away or wearing away of the earth's surface by the moving agents is called erosion here the water and wind are the moving agents water works in the form of rain river flowing water ground water sea waves the glaciers and wind work in the form of storm and study the eroded material which is in the form of small rocks and gravel mud and soil etc it is transported by the winds and water from one place to another place this process is called transportation when the speed of the river or winds is slowed down they are unable to carry the eroded material then they will deposit at the places so these dumped material these dumped sediments help to form plains and river basins the transported material by the river is accumulated as the layer by layer over the time and these layers are accumulated at the bottom and 
they are transformed into sedimentary rocks these processes whether in erosion transportation deposition are taking place simultaneously in different spots at a different rate depending upon the slope and the structure of the rock and it also depends upon the climate and the interference of the human also let's learn about the different types of landforms caused by the work of water generally the work of the river begins in the high mountain the river flows down through the steep slopes and it has the great force of cutting the mountains vertically so it results in the formation of deep valleys these valleys are in the shape of v so they are called as the v shaped valleys gorges these are formed by the river where the rocks are very hard the river cuts a very narrow valley the sides are so steep example the bison gorge in ap on the godavari and indus gorge in kashmir another important erosion form is kenyan kenyan is a in the form of steep side slopes and as deep as it there is a small difference between the gorge and kenyan the gorge is almost equal in width at its top as well as the bottom mean the width is equal almost in the top and in the bottom but when we compare the kenyan with the gorge the kenyan is wider the kenyan is wider at its top than at the bottom waterfall you can see the waterfall in the mountain area where the changes of flow is more the water falls with great force it digs out the rack in it to form a plunge pool when the river enters the plain the slope is gentle river also flows down it doesn't have the force to carry the sediment and it deposits the sediment on its banks or on its bed when the river is flooded it cuts the soil and when it is not in flood deposits it silt so a layer of sediment is that deposited during each flood gradually building up a fertile flood plain like Ganga plain and Krishna Godavari plain when the river bed becomes too high the river changes its course and cuts new path and changing in its course in a plain in its flood plain a river often forms meander or the gentle turn like a snake the sediments are deposited along the sides of the meander the ends of the meander loop comes closer and closer over the time the meander loop cuts off from the river and it becomes as a oxbow lake when the river reaches the sea it deposits the sediments at its mouth it is formed as a delta the delta is originated from the greek word